beautiful people, welcome to another exciting episode of Closet Confidential. I'm Kemi Adeyemi and our guest today is a jeweler. Her name is Mami Ogeringbe. Hi. Hello. You look absolutely stunning. Thank your you. Your skin, your hair, you're so chocolatey and bright. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right, you. I really want to talk to you about your jewelry line. Okay. The name, okay. Mia's Gold Link. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Okay, first, Mia's is actually, I used to be called, my name is Miami. Mm -hmm. when I was in high school, a lot of people called me Mia's. Oh, fair. So, <laughs> so it was a no-brainer. Yeah. And then the Gold Link, I wanted something where you it's easy to remember when you yeah. think of me as gold link the first thing you think about is she sells gold, gold yeah yeah you know so you don't have to think too hard not yeah. just me as me as gold link yeah and yeah so that's the story behind the name but the story behind the line itself is so i was sort of born into it my mom has been a jeweler for oh for real what's forever. hers called uh jewelry affair uh-huh so my my line is a diffusion of hers so it's yeah. uh it's more of I don't want to use the word affordable when yeah. it comes to gold, yeah. but I think it's, you know, it's the affordable line. Yeah. It's the light version of <laughs> what she sells. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so it wasn't, I didn't actually get into it till about two, three years ago yeah. when I came home to serve. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always worn jewelry, I've always liked jewelry, but it wasn't something I wanted to sort of like trade in. Yeah. I've always been behind a desk, office, <laughs> kind of. you know, Okay, nine to five. Nine to five, exactly. <laughs> uh -huh. So um, I came home and um, I don't know, it was just something I felt like, okay, I don't think it's something a lot of young people are actually doing. Yes. A lot of young people like designer bags, designer shoes, but this is something you can invest, invest in. Invest in for exactly. the future. For the, yeah. Exactly. We still wear, we wear our parents' jewelry, don't exactly. we? Like my mom, I still have a lot of things from my mom that she's had yeah. way before she even had me. Yeah. So it's more or less an investment for the young for the yeah. younger people. So my line is more for the younger audience. Yeah. You know, and um, you know, just Keep, yeah. Keeping it going. <laughs> so uh, my sister-in-law, she sells fabrics. Yeah. And when she introduced this, yeah. I love jackets. I love blazers, as yeah. you can tell. The first thing I thought about was, okay, I'm going to make, like, make a blazer and I'm going to make a short with it. And this is the outcome. This is so, so gorgeous. And this is made by Alsa Fade. She's oh. a new, Nigerian designer. She's like, yeah, she's Nigerian. I have to check her out. Yeah. Because this is, this is top quality, you know. Thank you. All right. What hair would you say has to be your most expensive piece? Um, most expensive. I'd say I don't really spend so much on clothes, but probably this Zara blazer. Oh, that is cute. Yeah, that's very cute. I love this. <laughs> very cute, very bright, very bold, very confident. Yes. Love it. Hi. All right. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. You look absolutely stunning today. As do you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this. How did this come about? How did you begin, you know, this journey of wanting to you know, collaborate with the iconic um, vanity and really bring up a menswear line into it? Well, the collaboration was really a product of a family thing. Mm -hmm. So, um, Nancy, who's the creative director at um, Iconic and Vanity, is yeah. my sister-in-law. I married her okay. younger sister a couple <laughs> years ago. So, um, so we've kind of been around each other and she's kind of seen what I've been doing in fashion yeah. in London um, with my own stuff and my own label. And so we began to have a conversation earlier this year yeah. about the prospects of a partnership yeah. on the menswear side. Um, and the conversation turned into a plan, the plan yeah. turned into action, and then suddenly I'm in Lagos. Reality. Yeah. So what should, we, what should we be expecting? What should we be looking out for? Um, what you can be expecting is a lot of bold colours, um, yeah. a lot of unashamedly African style yeah. direction, um, a lot of African cloths, yeah. but with a lot of silhouettes that we're seeing on the runways in, in Europe as well. So it's kind of a blend of the two. Obviously I've grown up in London, so yeah. all of the London style scene has influenced me a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm Kenyan, so I've grown up with a lot of our um, Kenyan fabrics yeah. and stuff in the house. So it's kind of like a Pan-African meets London kind of design language. Whatever I put in here. They market this as a 24-hour bag, so if you're going to be away for overnight, this is it will carry everything that you need. But I kind of use it as a casual briefcase. This is so exciting. We've taken a look at your clothes. We've taken a look at your accessories. I think what everyone's waiting for now is the lookbook. We want to see how you look and how you pull your pieces together. So we go into that now. Let's do it. 